Hello, welcome to Repto for you. Right, today, C64 time again. If you remember the last video, we sort of got this working, well, 60% working or so. So basically, we did manage to load a game, which is Ghostbusters, but shortly after the video, 8-Bit Repto Efex messaged me and said, that don't sound right, mate. So. There must be a problem with the SID in this. Anyway, they are known for going bad anyway. The SID chip is the sound interface device. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think that's correct. Also, another shout out to my other f YouTuber friend, Captain Commodore, as he actually sent me a box of goodies anyway. And in that box of goodies, I found this, which is a Nano Swin SID, which is basically a replacement SID. So today we're gonna pop this in the machine we're going to try and get another game loaded and see what the difference in sound is, if any, okay? Hopefully this should sort the issue out. But also, we've got a lot of work to do on this. I want to fully restore this machine as I want to use this for myself. So, we're going to end up retrobiting it once we get some sun in the UK. It seems like we've had the five days of sun. I mean, today it's overcast, it's raining. So, we're not going to do any retrobiting today, but we've got to take all these keys off, give it a good clean out. But today we're gonna like play around with the swin sid and also we will get this data cassette to pieces and give it a jolly good clean out and probably order some belts for it as well at the same time but let's see if we can get it loading a lot better today if you're new here then please hit the subscribe button which should be coming up here any minute yeah i've got to do this right so if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button there. It should be splashing up for a bit. And also obviously hit the notifications. And also give me a thumbs up if you can. And don't forget to comment below. Comments are great, like I said. So I've turned it off now because I know it gets a bit annoying going whoosh, whoosh, ding. But that's it. So I'll catch you after the video. Sorry, not after the video. I'll catch you after the short intro. So I'll catch you after the short intro and let's crack on. We're getting this sorted. See you soon. So let's start with doing this, okay? I wanna try and get this apart, give it a good clean out and see if we can get it reading this better. Did I say this? I mean tapes, obviously. I was just testing you guys then. Now, although I like, love these iFixit screwdriver sets. I mean, they are one of the best screwdriver sets you can get, but when it comes to stuff like this sometimes, look, I show a disadvantage, they don't eat the screws. It's just impossible, look. They can't actually physically reach the screws. So this is where we need to call in the other screwdrivers. So what we'll do, we'll just get these undone. So let's get this off like it should. Now, I'm not sure whether that's a wire or part of a tie. Let me know, Steve, what you think, or... Because if you look here, there's all the bits of tie. It looks to me like it's... Ah, is this cable here? So it's an earth, I guess. But where was this connected to? Does anybody know? Can anybody let me know? Uh, the belt is on there, which seems to be turning okay. So, should these be screwed in? Looks like the whole lot just pulls out. So it does. Now you can see in here, it's like someone's been having a dinner in here. Let's see if I can zoom in for you to have a look. Wrong way. If you look here, can you see it around there? 
it is very, very dirty. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna give this a clean. I am curious where that cable's come from. It does look like an air, so I'm gonna get a brush, brush this out. While we're here as well, we'll give these rollers and everything a clean with some IPA and some cotton wool buds. And these are the heads here, so we'll give these a good clean. You see here, there's a lot of grind coming off this. Same as these, these are pinch rollers, I think they were called. Just basically give this a good clean, because this is probably why it's not been loading so good. So we'll give all this I'm just going to check on Google to see if I can find out where the run this wire goes here. Because obviously it's not good. So I'll be back in a minute, okay? Okay, so I've looked online, I can't find it. So I basically messaged in my WhatsApp of fellow YouTubers and hopefully they get back to me soon to tell me where it's from. The likes of Captain Commodore 8-bit retro refixes in there, so they're obviously whizzes with these machines. So for the time being, I'm just gonna stick it back together. Now I managed to clean everything out a bit. So we'll just whiz that out a bit so we can see. And we're basically just stick it back together like that, obviously. And we'll pull it out of the way. And we'll get on with swapping this SID. So, let's move that cable out of the way, and we'll get the Commodore 64. Okay, so we're back on the C64, I need to move that out a bit, wrong way, there you go. So we're just going to do this power LED, undo the keyboard connector, and off we go. So, the SID, I think, is this one here. There, I think. Does that look right to you? U18 is the SID. Obviously, like I said before, I've never touched one of these. I do want to place all these caps. Can you see them all around? like good fun obviously these are caps as well so to get a full set of caps to this would be good and get it all replaced obviously there's power regulators here as well so let's see about pulling this SID and getting it done so basically looking at it this one here You see there, which is a six five eight one. I don't know whether you can read here. It says to close if it's a six five eight one, which is what we seem to have. So I guess I need to close that jumper there. Those two pads together. So we're going to solder those two pads together. We're going to pull this. U18 SID chip here and basically replace it with this. The one thing I don't 
seems like on this. His pin one doesn't seem to be marked. I guess I'm gonna say that's pin one. I can say so as it's got the square around it. So we'll go for that being pin one, and then we'll get this installed. And let's see what happens. Okay. So we've got some chip pullers here. out the SID so we'll pull that out and basically we need to just close these two pins off here so we need a bit of solder sure I got some solder lying around here somewhere See, just solder that pin together there, which is just there. I could have got the scope for this actually, if you want to have a look at the scope. Hang on a minute, I can show you. So, as you can see there, basically. There's what a close there, 6581. And here's the swing so you've got to look at it. You can see there, 6581. And if you want to look at the original one, there's the original one. We'll see, must chip 6581. So I guess I've done that right anyway, by closing that jumper. Anyway, we'll soon see if it all goes up in smoke when we plug it up. So basically, we're going to install this now. We'll just switch back to the overhead camera. There you go. So we're back on the overhead camera again. Hopefully, I'm going to connect this up. I'm going to see a difference in the sound we didn't have yesterday. Sorry, not yesterday, I mean the last video. So, again, I'm just going to connect this LED up. This way, I hope it doesn't blow up. Fingers crossed for me, all guys. Right. So, I'm just going to switch back to the data cassette. So we'll put the C64 to one side for a minute. I'm going to switch back to the data cassette because I believe we just had a message. So, so I've checked the message. Apparently this wire here is something to do with the record mechanism. But obviously I need to look into this more. So for now, I'm just going to tuck it to one side because obviously it's like that anyway. And we'll look into this later because we're going to strip this down again later. It's just quickly a quick clean today to try and get it working. So at the moment, we're just going to stick it back together and see if we can get it loading some games because today's main like achievement today is to get the sound fixed and try to get this thing loading games even better. Because, I mean, to be honest, I've got this Ninja Cat soon, somewhere. I think it's called Ninja Cat. Why do you keep calling it Ninja Cat? It's called a Kung Fu Cat. So, basically, that Kung Fu Cat will allow us to load stuff off SD. I think this would be absolutely epic to load stuff off SD. Anyway, so we don't need record anyway at the moment. We're only interested in play. So, just bear with me listen to some music while I get this connected up.
So, moment of truth, turn it on. No smoke, that is a jolly good sign. So, we're gonna eject this. And but this is totally dead. So why is it, oh no, it's not totally dead. I guess it just needs time to wake up. So we're gonna to switch to the video capture device. Okay, so let's just, so we're on the video capture device. So just put this. So, it seems like it's failed to load again. I mean, it is a bit hit and miss. Obviously the tapes are old, etc. So, I know Ghostbusters loaded last time, but I have to try and do something different. Try a bit of beachhead. I'm not sure whether Everything is recorded on the same side or not. So this it's not working so we will remove it I'll just put it out of the way for now for a bit because obviously it's not going to work but what i have done is i've got an sd card i've loaded some cartridge images onto this so we can now give this a go the kung fu flash this should load up pretty fast hopefully so we'll plug it into the cartridge port we'll switch on to the video capture device Ghostbusters! <laughs> basically press this button here and I can switch to some few different ROMs like I say I've got Beachhead on there, Raid of Moscow, Yaa Kung Fu, Star Wars, excellent game, I really do like Star Wars, in fact I think before I end this video we're going to run Star Wars and try that because who doesn't like a bit of Star Wars but to be honest I recorded the sound before and it does sound a lot better so that SID chipper here unfortunately is faulty but I would like to get an original SID chip because obviously the original ones are always the best 
the uh, emulated one that's in there now is working and it does sound better than this one unfortunately but it's still not as good as the original is it so let's try to get myself an original Sid chip for this anyway so like I say we're gonna try Star Wars and then I'll probably come back to here and we'll end the video will be with you. back again <laughs> that was short lived wasn't it mate but it was good fun like I say this is good I enjoy this car you'll be seeing a lot more of that eventually anyway okay so that's basically it for today just before I go next time if you want to see more C64 let me know we could always build this Pi 15 41 to disk drive I have no idea how it works I've never built one before we need to build a cable we need to insert a pie we we'll probably have to do some magic and jiggery jiggery right or we can do the pie storm 600 which I would like to see store so it's either next video will either be the C64 or the Amiga 600 let me know what you'd like to see drop a comment below and Obviously, I make my choice probably Wednesday, Thursday time, and hopefully, I'll get some feedback on what people want to see. So, thanks again for watching this video and sticking with me. Hopefully, the camera's been a lot better this time and hasn't dropped any images. So, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and the like and comment below. Just say hello, I always say hello back. So, that's it for now. I shall see you again. Thanks a lot. See ya. Bye. See you next time on Retro for You.